Mark Rogers TV, we're back with more Power 5 Conference schedule previews for 2014. We've combed up the Big Ten and the SEC, and now we're in the ACC. We've knocked out Miami. Now we go to Virginia Tech. And we've seen this a few other times where a team's got a pretty manageable schedule because of the luck of the draw of gaining those two other non-division games. And you could draw the Toughies in the other division or maybe not so much or a split. Virginia Tech caught the good draw this season. This could be a team that's really not that good, but their record could be pretty good by season's end, maybe 9-3. and three. They do play the very difficult game in Columbus, Ohio, the second week of the season. Let's look at the Hokies, and let's start with a non-conference schedule. They hopefully will show up in Columbus on September 6th at 1-0 after facing William & Mary. Otherwise, it could be a long season for Frank Beamer and the Hokies. Okay, they go to Ohio State. The Buckeyes are beatable. Yes, they're a much better team than Virginia Tech. They will be approximately a three-touchdown favorite. They should win that game, but I would not be shocked if the Hokies go in and pull off the upset. Not shocked. Bit surprised. So let's say Virginia Tech's 1-1 one one at that point. Could be 2-0, and oh, most likely 1-1. One one. Okay, they've fallen in love with playing East Carolina in recent seasons. Go back through the last five, six, seven football seasons, and it's Virginia Tech and East Carolina. Now, Virginia Tech should handle that series rather nicely. East Carolina, though, won Conference USA. They're moving into the American Athletic Conference this season. The Hokies only won that game 15-10 to 10 last season. This is going to be a good football game with the Pirates and their passing attack. Uh, Virginia Tech and East Carolina, and any time you face a team that's just maybe below you, and they've got the offensive weapons, and they've got a passing game that's well in sync, that's been together, the key components for a few years, and you're struggling on offense. That evens things out very quickly. So East Carolina, no gimme in week three at home in Blacksburg. Then the Hokies step into ACC play with Georgia Tech. That's going to be a difficult game and a key game if they want to win the division, which I take it they do. Then they play Western Michigan. And if anything's going to solve this Hokies offense, it's the defense of Western Michigan, 106th in the country in points against last season. The Broncos were 1-11 at Western Michigan last season. So, nice little easy bye week of sorts for Virginia Tech. Then it's all ACC from there on out. Game at North Carolina should be an entertaining one. Virginia Tech at North Carolina. The Tar Heels in the preseason top 25 coaches poll at Pitt, Miami, Boston College, at Duke, at Wake, Virginia. So, who's missing in the ACC? Well, of course, Virginia Tech plays everybody in its own division. Who are the two non-division games against? They are against Boston College at home November 1st and at Wake Forest on November 22nd. So, Virginia Tech can hold ground against Georgia Tech, North Carolina, Pitt, Miami early in the ACC schedule then they finish up with this stretch drive to try to get to an ACC championship game and get where the Hokies rightfully feel they belong at the top of the ACC, at least vying for a championship against Florida State. The stretch drive, again, BC at Duke at Wake, Virginia. They could run the table at 4-0. and Of course, Duke coming off the uh, defending division championship. Virginia Tech plays BC and Wake in the other division. No Florida State, no Louisville. No Clemson. That is key. Virginia Tech, very strong defensively. Um, a lot of missing or questionable pieces on offense. Of course, they replaced Logan Thomas at quarterback. Some Virginia Tech fans think that's a positive on their side in 2014. But again, no Florida State, Louisville, or Clemson. The game at Ohio State is probably a loss non-conference. Otherwise, probably 3-1. and one. Now they could lose to the Pirates of East Carolina and things start to get a bit dicey for Virginia Tech making a bowl game. But otherwise, if they hold chalk, this is probably a 9-3 and three season for the Hokies. 8-4, and four, maybe a little bit more likely for Virginia Tech. All right, Gobbler Country, talk to us about Virginia Tech. We'd love to hear your comments about the Hokies and Frank Beamer. You're used to playing for championships in the ACC. You've taken a step back. Clemson's taken your place. Of course, Florida State has emerged as the team in college football last season and certainly in the ACC. It's a thin ACC, though. So Virginia Tech could catch that second or third spot, and they definitely should be in the hunt for that division championship to get to the 
ACC final game against uh, most likely the Florida State Seminoles. Again, Virginia Tech fans, step up. Let's hear from you on Mark Rogers TV.